let's talk about troubleshooting a little bit and some of the things you can do to make sure that your account is running smoothly and that things are going well with your classroom account. First of all, let's talk about you've gotten a notification from your salesperson that you're over your licenses and that you need to get your devices down to your the licensing that you've purchased. A couple of things you can do. First of all, you can always go to settings, go to Google, and hit select. Remember, this is the area that you choose that has just your Chromebooks. Now you can see here, we've chosen every OU to click in here. But if I wanted to bring this down to less, I can always click here and just go to Student Chromebooks and hit Save. It's going to kick off a sync, and that will help us get down our license count below the number that we need. It's going to give it a second here. It's got to go into a big queue to find that sync process that's going on there. That's one way you can do it. If you find, like, I don't have, all of my devices are in the same OU, how do I get that license count down? Well, you can also go here into the admin console, go to your organizational units area, create some more organizational units, one or two that you might need to do, and then move devices into those other organizational units. Then you'll come back here to the Securely console, go to Select again, and make sure that you've chosen just the OU that you need to get that has your devices in it. That will help you get your device count down to where it needs to be. Another thing that you can do is clean up your device list. One thing you can do is remember, we only count your active Chromebooks. I've got 41 in here. If you want to remove your deprovisioned Chromebooks from this list, once again, go to your OU to your Google Suite, go to your OU, and literally move those devices to a separate OU. All you have to do is go to your Devices area, go to Chrome Management, go to Devices, click on any device that you want to move, and click Move, and you can move it, and you can move your deprovisioned devices that way. Once you take them out of the OU that is syncing with us, we will remove it from this list. Let's talk about the sync time that happens with your G Suite and Classroom. On a nightly basis, we sync with G Suite, and you'll see that sync in two, in two areas. The first one is here in Google, and you can see that last sync there. The second one is integrations, right here. You really want to make sure that these times don't get any longer than about 72 hours. If they do, hit that force sync button right there and that'll force another sync to happen. And if there is a problem, if this turns up red after you've hit and force sync, please contact Securely Support as soon as possible. And an easy way to do that is just to email support at securely.com. Include a screenshot of what you're seeing and your account, and we'll be able to look into it right away. Now, let's talk about this. If you have teachers that make changes in, like Google Classroom, and they're expecting that change to show up here inside of the device console right away, I'm sorry, that's not going to happen. You have to wait for the sync time. Yes, you can force the sync, and it'll pull it over. But you also have to remember that Google has to verify that information before they release it to us. So you can have a wait time of up to three, four hours before it actually get released to us. So most of the time we ask you to wait till that sync happens every night and see what gets pulled in. <music>